have beaten Motherwell on Saturday. Out go Mio Drag, Krivokovic, Alec Cleland and Billy McKinley. And in come Gary McGuinness, Paul Hegarty and Hamish French. Dundee United, captained by Morris Malpaz, number three there. He played a key role in plotting Rangers downfall here last season. And Jim McLean feels that Malpaz has improved as a player since becoming skipper. Rangers had one or two anxious moments before downing St Mirren on Saturday. Graham Souness has made two switches. Stuart Monroe comes in for John Brown at left fullback. And of course, Ali McCoy's number nine, back at the expense of Davy Cooper. Rangers glad to see McCoy starting for them once again after a five-game absence. Our referee tonight, Alistair Hewitt of Edinburgh. Well, it's a head-to-head -head between the top-rated teams and the Premier Division. Rangers in superb form. They put together an eight-game winning sequence. Dundee United's only defeat so far was in the Skull Cup semi-final against Aberdeen seven days ago. Certainly, United and Rangers deserve to be in positions two and one, respectively. Head flick by McCoyst. Ian Ferguson. Nisbet has support from Gary Stevens, and that will be the game's first corner. Scott Nisbet up at the near post. Short corner from Walters. Stevens with the cross. Dundee United getting the ball away. It's a throw to Rangers on the left. Wilkins. Another deep cross. Ray Wilkins trying to swing that one over. But Dundee United with advantage. Stuart Monroe, the left back. Had to work hard to get it back to his goalkeeper. Walters going up. Here's Ali McCoyst. Trying to turn inside. Falls kindly for Nisbet. And Nisbet with a shot for Rangers. Not too much power in the effort from Scott Nisbet. But it's the first shot at goal so far. Nisbet trying to turn the Dundee United defence. Cut inside. Looking for room. But a little bit off target. Well, clearly Jim McAnally is not in a happy state. Dundee United are going to have to make an early substitution. Stuart Monroe and McAnally limps off. An early substitution force for Dundee United. Dave Bowman, number 12, makes his way onto the field. Jim McAnally clearly in some pain. But it's started to rain now here at Tanadice. It's a free kick to Rangers. Mark Walters, the player, over the ball. Monroe missing it. And it's hooked in by Gary Stevens. Here's Walters. And Walters with a cross. Nobody there, but here's Ian Ferguson. Wilkins in support. Stuart Monroe. High and hopeful from the left back. The build-up was interesting by Rangers that time. But the finish not matching it. Chance for Dundee United. Kevin Gallagher. Can he outstrip the defence? Gallagher shot blocked by Butcher. And the England central defender rolling it back to Chris Woods. Kevin Gallagher saw the chance though. One on one situation, but Terry Butcher, experienced defender that he is, come well. In a full bonding sense, it hasn't been a terribly memorable first half. Ian Ferguson. Ferguson going round the outside, trying to beat Dave Neary for pace. 
now Baz just touching it on to Buddy Thompson. Here's Malpass again for Dundee United. Tackle was by Wilkins. Malpass keeps it in play. A foul meet hovering and Gallagher. The flag was up though as Kevin Gallagher reached for the ball. was Morris Malpass scooping it in for Dundee United. Raphael Mead was flinging it on and Gallagher trying to reach, but he was offside. Raphael Mead has only been on the field for a few minutes, but already making an impact. Ten minutes left to go in the half. Mead. French. Mead running onto it. Gallagher is wide to the left. Appeals for handball and Raphael Mead going down. Two incidents inside the penalty box. Redford losing out to Davy Cooper. Bowman pass picked off. But Neri leaving it for Thompson into defence, a bit of trouble here it's all a little bit confused and scrappy out there at the moment Ian Durant trying to restore calm to the proceedings little one two and still Durant crucial tackle made by John Clark Clark simply had to win the ball for Dundee United because Durant looked as if he wanted to go all the way, linking with Davy Cooper. The tackle here, and it's a corner. Walters with it for Rangers. Stuart Monroe. Easy clutch for Thompson to make. Guinness. Rafael Mead looking there for Malpass. Wants to check back. Checking back further. Mead with a head flick offside against Hamish French. French finishing off the move and running it into the net. Well, we're now inside stoppage time in the first half. expects the clock will run on as a result of all those injuries a mistake there and Walters with a header Billy Thompson recovering but the Dundee United defence almost caught napping and it was Mark Walters who nearly capitalised long ball upfield by Richard Goff United really ought to have had that situation covered John Clark thought it was, and Billy Thompson certainly was alert to save the Walters header. Bowman. McGuinness with a deep cross, and Chris Woods. The half-time whistle will sound very shortly. And in fact, there it goes. The opening 45 minutes have come gone here at Tanner Dice. three substitutions have already taken place only one more substitute available and that's Rangers striker Andy Gray the halftime score Dundee United nil Rangers nil so Rangers kick off the second half I'm glad to say that the rain has died down, down a little bit really the only clear-cut chance of the first half was that Walters header after the de defensive slip by Dundee United. Other than that, it was a defence-orientated game. The longer it goes on, the more you feel that one flash of brilliance could decide the outcome. Ray Wilkins for Rangers, looking for Walters. Great turn here. 
Well, just looking for room, but the whistle had already sounded. Nevertheless, always a joy to watch Mark Walters taking on defenders. The through ball by Ray Wilkins. Walters the target. Watch how he brings the ball down, flips it aside of Malpaz. Holmes in on goal, tried the chip. The Christ. Free waving play on. Rangers going into reverse gear once again. Stevens. McCoy's. John Clark with a challenge on Ali McCoy's. It was illegal. And the free kick will go to Rangers in great position as far as they're concerned. Gary Stevens setting up McCoyst with his back to goal. Difficult to see from the replay the extent of the challenge. Five man down the United Wall. Six players, in fact, there now. Dave Bowman on the end. Walters with a free kick and a second chance. The linesman is flagging. Offside. Walters the second bite of the cherry but the Dundee United war doing its job defense of the United have been very solid in this game with the sole exception of a mistake by John Clark just on the stroke of half time that almost led Walters in Richard Goff Stevens now Mark Walters has made the run down the right Neri trying to close off the space but it's Walters and now Durant Kevin Gallagher with him still Durant Stuart Monroe for Rangers sliding it out to Walters Walters drawing it past Neri. Wonderful balance here, the cross! The skill of Mark Walters delighting the Rangers spectators and this massive crowd. Walters against Neri. Neri remembers an experienced defender, but the tuple shuffle and the swing down the flank, the delicate cross, and just over the top. Signals coming from the bench. McGuinness. Dave Bowman for Dundee United. Hamish French and John Clark inside the box. So is Raphael Mead. Now pass under pressure. Here's Walters. Can he get past Neri again? Going infield to Durant. Still Walters. Walters finding the gap and getting past Hegarty. Ian Durant! The chance lost. But Mark Walters again in sparkling form. Getting past Morris Malpass and David Neri. Then showing Hegarty a clean pair of heels. The drawback tipped away by Thompson and Durant blazing it over. So Walters, excellent work, counting for nothing. Mead. Redford. Space has opened up. Here's Bowman. And Bowman with a long-range shot! An awkward tipping snapshot by Dave Bowman. The United fans appreciated that.
Bowman on the run, didn't have any support outside him, so decided to go it alone, eyeing up the gap, and Chris Woods rolling on top of it, getting into the second attempt. Perhaps players will need to shoot on sight if we're to see a goal here. Wilkins looking for Stevens. Gary Stevens trying his luck. Locked away by Redford. It falls to Mark Walters. United defence getting it away. But now Gary Stevens linking with Walters. Now pass with him. Walters with the cross. Davy Cooper. Corner. Dave Bowman on the stop. Rangers' ninth corner of the game. Taken short to Gian Durant. Terry Butcher's up, but so is Billy Thompson. Thompson has been safe between the posts for Dundee United. a little bit of pressure but able to work it back to Chris Woods Clark's header it goes straight out of play Coist. Gallagher. Chris Woods has it covered. Rafael Mead, the Dundee United attacker, trying to latch on to the end of the long ball upfield from Gallagher. Woods kick. Ferguson's header. The defence not terribly convincing that time. And Redford trying to weave his way out of the situation. Gary Stevens. Supported by Wilkins. Again going back. Durant. McCoyst. Good control here. Getting past Hegarty. McCoyst with a cross. Ferguson, Gary McGuinness hesitating, the chance is still on, McCoy's for the cross for the second time, and he wins a corner. It's Davy Cooper's corner, Terry Butcher up, trying to put off Billy Thompson, Durant leaving it again for Cooper, Thompson on his line and Raphael meet with a header. Stevens, great pass to Cooper, a draw back to Durant, delicate chip towards Walters, and pushed away, Hamish French, United under the collar here. Cooper. Looking for McCoy. Hegarty will give away another corner. This is the 15th corner in the game so far for Rangers. It's Cooper trying to cut inside. Linking with Durant. He slipped at the vital moment. And here comes... The Dundee United breakaway. Butcher intercepts. Davy Cooper. He's beaten the offside trap. Ian Ferguson. And that breaks the tie. With six minutes left to go. It was Davy Cooper who set it up. Sending the cross deep. 
the Dundee United defence caught out and Ian Ferguson with a header beating Billy Thompson Rangers are in the lead so what's going through the minds of Graeme Souness and Walter Smith now only six minutes in which to defend the lead so Dundee United now must try to get forward Rangers have just had the edge on pressure certainly that's been the case in the second half Chris Woods really hasn't been troubled in the second period in direct contrast Billy Thompson at the other end has had a lot to contend with Ian Ferguson attacking midfielder signed from St Mirren that's why Graham Souness made the purchase. It's Ferguson's second goal of the season. Raphael Mead is chases in vain. And Rangers happy to take the time now. Terry Butcher there. Just gliding along nonchalantly. Durant, Mark Walters is open. Walters linking with Gary Stevens. Walters again. Ali McCoy is going down. Paul Haggerty alongside him two of the Rangers players looked at the referee four minutes left to go and defence is the key for Rangers now that's what I mean Rangers will no doubt hold on to the ball, try to keep possession. They lead by a goal to nil. Stuart Monroe picking up the loose ball. Now McCoyst and Walters again free on the right. Walters! Lower and harder that time. Well, normally tends to look for the delicate chip to the far post but Walters that time attempting to blast it through go kick <laughs> Gary Stevens rolling it back to Butcher Vast legions of Rangers supporters made their way up from Glasgow for this game. And if it stays as it is at the moment, they'll go home happy. Now Baz. Chance for Gallagher. And Mead winning at the far post. John Clark with a shot. Ian Redford. It was so near. Two minutes remaining, and Dundee United inches away from tying it. Raphael Mead trying to nod it in. John Clark's shot was blocked initially. Ian Redford turning, stopping, then chipping, and just inches over the top. Bowman. Gary Stevens. Long ball upfield, but Ali McCoyce was offside. Christ has worked tirelessly up front tonight. Davy Cooper. Annie McCoyst, one on one against Dave Neary. And McCoyst going. Chance to make it 2 0. 
Billy Thompson with a great save. And Ali McCoist, clearly frustrated. That could have settled the issue. Dave Neri caught out a high. Bouncing ball, McCoist lining up the shot. Trying to deceive Billy Thompson. But a great save that was. Inside the final minute. It's Cooper's low corner. Ian Durant going all the way back to Chris Woods. Well, according to my watch, we're now approaching injury time. So Rangers on course to protect their 100% record on the road. But he posted three victories in away games. Thompson's kick. And Rangers going forward. They're caught out though. Free kick goes to Dundee United. Morris Malpaz, lofting it high, away by Goff. Hamish French. One wonders if that signals the end of the Dundee United Challenge. There it goes, the final whistle. Rangers hanging on to register a 1-0 victory. Graham Souness delighted. The Ibrox team are leaving it late. That goal by Ian Ferguson. Scored with just six minutes remaining. Ferguson's second goal of the 88-89 season. And a